Hey guys, this is Jace from Justin's Toys, and today I'll be showing you how to make the Chris Crossover Braid. This is an original design by me. So the first step is to set up the loom, and for this bracelet you're going to need six bar pins and one big base, and you will also need as many other bases as you can find to support it. So the first step is going to be to take this big base here, and you're going to take your first bar pin, and you're going to line it on the left side so that the end of the bar pin is in the middle of the big base. Then you're going to take your next one and you're going to match it so that it's as close as it can get to that next bar pin. And you're going to make sure that the next bar pin that you put on is even with the first. And once again, even in the middle. even once again with the first and the last one like that and then you're just going to take these other bases and you're going to support the loop All right. So now our loom is set up. So the first step is to apply the rubber bands. And as with most bracelets, you are going to start with the red arrow facing away from you, or the U shape is going to be visible like a U if you don't have a red arrow on the bottom. And the first rubber band that you need to put on is going to be one rubber band across the bottom row of your loom, bottom three pegs, and it should be a neutral color that isn't included in your bracelet. The next step is going to be to apply the middle strand rather than the border and you're going to want to apply the first rubber band starting on the left side going up one and across two so that it goes straight across the loom going up one and across two and then on the other side you're going to do the same thing up one and across two like so and then you're going to continue down with that same pattern, except this time you're going to start from the next peg on, up one and across two. Once again, starting from this right peg now, up one and across two. Once again, now we're going to start from this left side. You're going to go up one and across two and the same on the other side up one and across two and you're basically going to repeat this pattern throughout the bracelet
All right, and now we have come to the end of the bracelet. And now we can actually go back to the beginning. And we are going to now apply the border. And if you made the starburst before, the border is a lot like that one. You're just gonna go up both the right and the left side. But make sure you start from both sides on the bottom because you don't want to have it loop around because that would be bad, it wouldn't work. You need to have it start from both sides on the bottom end of the loom, right here. And you're just gonna put the band on one at a time without skipping all the way to the end of the bracelet. All right, and now we have finished with the applying of the rubber bands. The only thing we have left to do is take a cap band. That's how you cap a band if you didn't know. And place it right across the bottom three pegs. Just like that. And now we can start the actual looping of the bracelet. So you're going to start by coming here into the middle and you're just going to want to push back this cap band. Then you're going to come around here to the side. You're going to take the top band. It's going to be the outside border color. And come around and you're going to put it back to itself. And you're going to do the same thing over here. You're going to push back, pull it around, you're going to grab that top band, pull it out, and back to itself. Then what you're going to do is you're going to identify which rubber band is on top. If you did this the same way the whole way down, they should be the same one most of the time, but you need to make sure that it's always the one that's on top that you grab first and you're going to pull it around and bring it back to itself and then the same thing with the other side go in pull it around and back to itself just like that and then you're going to move on to the next peg you're going to reach into here in through these top ends Grab that top band, pull it around, and put it back to itself. Once again with the other side, and reach in, get the top band, and put it back to itself. You're going to reach back in again, 
as you can see this right band is on top here reach in pull it out and back to itself and on the left you're going to reach in pull it out and back to itself and it's just going to be the whole pattern the whole way down so once again you're going to reach in through the side grab the top band it's going to be the border color and back to itself reach in top band back to itself this right band is once again on the top reach in back to itself reach in back to itself Right there, as you can see, the top band was on the left.
All right. So for this last step here, before we clip it, we're just gonna reach into this far right peg and you're gonna pull it out and loop it around the middle. And the same thing with this far left peg. Just gonna reach in and loop it around the middle. So to take it off, I'm just gonna grab this bottom and you're just going to use your hook to basically pry off all the bands. The easiest way to do it is to go up the side, go up each side, and taking off. all of the sides first. And when you go back to the middle, kind of just pull it. It starts to form. You just want to stop before that last peg so that you don't have it falling off on you. Now what you're going to want to do is just stick your hook in there and get all four of those last rubber bands onto your hook. All three rather. And then you're just going to pull it up. You have your completed bracelet. And you just need to clip these three last bands. So you're just going to grab a C clip. And you're going to make sure you get all three. Once you have them wrapped around like that, you're done. You just take it around and clip it to the other side. Thank you for watching. This has been Jason from Justin's Toys. See you later.